and darling viewers, it's Jen here at Check Her Joy, and this time I'm reviewing Bibliophile, an illustrated miscellany. This is an, like, coffee table book or reference book that is just filled with everything bookish that you could possibly want. Uh, the writing and illustrations are both by Jane Mount, and the illustrations play such a huge part of this book. Um, so she started off doing art and illustrations of people's, like, bookshelves and stacks of books with, like, their absolute favorites. So this is really just a compilation of a bunch of bookish things. There are stacks of books, which might typically be on somebody's bookshelf, and they're really themed around different topics, and she really covers everything from different sections of nonfiction, like history and cooking and memoirs, to all the different kinds of fiction, like children's books and YA, and getting into sci-fi and different <laughs> um, time periods, so talking about the 1900s. Um, so each one, most of this book, about half the book, are these book lists, and there'll be a stack of books, um, and then a page talking about the theme that they all have, talking about notable books in that section of books that really influence that genre. So there are tons of these. These are probably my favorite part. They're really fun. It was fun to go into the books that I really love and see some of the books that maybe I own on my bookshelf or books that I've checked out of the library. A lot of the fun of this book is really going through and seeing which books you have read and really seeing what other books are similar. But I also appreciated the book lists on things that maybe I wouldn't necessarily have read myself either. Um, I work in a library so I see a lot of these books on the shelf and really getting the context of what they are and where they fit into like the bigger the bigger picture of like all books. Um, and I think it helps to, since I work at a library and have to give book recommendations a lot too, to be able to look at books and be like, oh yeah, that fits into that category, that fits into this other one, these are similar, these aren't similar. So it's not just the book lists though, there are pages. The pages in between vary so much. There are pages about notable bookshops, um, special collections, ones that have interesting decor, that fill like a niche in their um, communities. There is also like libraries in here, a few museums. There's a section on just like cats and bookstores. Um, a lot of sections about authors um, and also recommendations. So there will be like bookish people giving what their favorite books are and the books that they recommend the most. Um, and really just tons of collections. Like this is like beautiful contemporary covers. There's a section on like notable covers and like really like ones really getting into um this book really just covers everything about books and everything about why we love books so if you are a book lover i recommend checking this out it's also a really good gift if you're wondering what to get a book lover and you don't really know what kind of books they have or what kind of books they've read since it covers everything everybody's tastes are somewhere in here here's one of the pages with like book recommendations um, so there'll be like a notable bookish person, somebody who works in the library or is a book reviewer or um, is an author themselves and what would they recommend um, and the, snap, the like book blurbs about why they recommend that book. So it's tons of fun. In the introduction she talks about how her goal is to make your to be read pile like three times longer and I don't know that it really, I didn't sit down. I purposely did not sit down with Goodreads open so I couldn't add these books to my TBR as I was going, but it definitely helps when I see them on the shelves at the library or the bookstore to be like, I know what that book is and I'm interested, not interested, like having it all in the back of my brain. So there's tons and tons of different topics in here covering really anything about the books from like what the different parts of the book are to book designs, like the cover art. Um, different authors, talking about illustrators, talking about graphic novels. This book is really fun. It's really interesting. It's fun to explore. Um, it was also a light book so I was sick for part of the time that I was reading this and it was nice to just have something bookish to just like absorb and enjoy and not have to get too in depth with it. So I appreciated that. It's also just physically beautiful. It's got like a cloth type cover to it. It's shiny. It's got really beautiful illustrations. Um, got the ribbon. And there's a really good mix between talking about the books and also just showing them and seeing them and just looking at it. She does a really good job of illustrating the different book covers and the different spines, but also drawing out like the libraries or the authors um, or the people that she's talking about. So 
I loved it. It's very visually pleasing, but also really fun to just read and enjoy. So yes, I highly recommend this one. Totally go check it out. If you have read it, if you do have it, um, what's your favorite part about it? I just love the fact that it just, it's everything bookish. Like I just, I love books in general. And there's a lot of diversity in here too. She talks about um, like the importance of African American literature and where we got historically and what these different sections show us, like talking about dystopians and how that fills a place or the role of history. Um, and there's a good mix of like, there'll be more well-known classics, really older books that have stood the test of time. Um, but also there's newer books in here. It came out um, last fall. So there is a lot of new releases in here. Um, like N.K. Jemison gets mentioned a few times. She's won I think, the Hugo Award several times. Um, so there's diversity, like racial diversity, and talking about books from all around the world and libraries from all around the world. Um, but there, there's diversity in culture and like LGBT books are mentioned. Having like there's a section, one of the lists is picture books for adults. So um, sections that maybe wouldn't normally get ma mainstream um, a focus are also talked about in here. I highly recommend Bibliophile. I think I gave it four stars. Peace out. I love you guys and keep reading. Bye.